Hello everyone. Mm. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Vic's Backyard Chicks. I'm out here hanging out with the ladies post Texas freeze. Um, I want to just today touch on what we did to keep our hens safe from the cold weather. Um, we do live in Texas so we don't experience anything that is extremely extremely cold during this freeze it got down to i believe 15 degrees uh fahrenheit was the coldest it got um there was a wind chill of four but i'll go more into the wind chill in a second um right now the ladies are just out enjoying their day as the sun is setting um so i'm gonna take y'all to our coop we built um it's an amazon shed actually and then we added some windows and stuff so i'll do another video on that on how we made that i'm gonna jump right in and touch on what we did to keep our hens safe from the freezing temperatures like i always like to say do your own research every breed is different every breed can tolerate different temperatures so do your own research i'm just going to show you what helped us and what kept our ladies alive during this freeze so let's jump right into it hey ladies so, excuse the mess, I'm gonna take y'all back here into our coop that we have locked up. So, um, but first thing I did was added extra bedding. I added extra pine shavings um, just so they could have that extra insulation on the ground. Ooh, look at all those eggs. Um, we had intentions for this to be more of a roosting thing. We need to move this out. But anyway, so that's one thing I did was add in extra bedding. As you can see, it's a little bit more piled up than usual. We usually have their water right there on this um, cylinder block thing, but right now we had it thawing in the sun. Now, one of the reasons it's so dark in here is because we covered up the windows. We have two large windows in Texas. It gets really hot, so they do need lots of um, air during the day, um, during the summer, to keep it nice and flowing through, keep it nice and cool in here. But for this Texas freeze, we boarded up the windows. So all we did was staple old feed bags to the windows with a staple gun right here all around it, made sure there was no draft coming through. It will help the chickens be warm. It will prevent that wind chill from coming into their coop so they can all bundle up and not get any wind, which um, helps keep the temperature warmer in here with their body heat as well. One thing I wanna touch on is um, just because our windows are boarded up doesn't mean that they don't have any ventilation up on top of our shed. We have right here and right here. Let's see if I can zoom out. We have ventilation. So they're still getting ventilation. It's not airtight. They, they're still getting that refreshing air in the coop. They're just not getting that big wind draft and chill that will make it really cold. Um, we did keep our door open during the day so they could go out as they wanted to during the day. Surprisingly, they still explored out in the run, but they mainly stayed in their coop during that freeze. Here, I have their old uh, water that was thawing out in the sun. I need to clean it out and put it back in the coop. But a really important thing we did to keep them alive during the freeze was exchange their water out. The water froze up, so I would just exchange their bowls, made sure in the morning they had water, come check every couple hours, every few hours, and if it needed, if I couldn't break up the ice, I would just replace it. So we would just use like a dog bowl or something to give them some fresh water. Things. Um, another thing we did a few days before the freeze is we fed them lots of snacks. We gave them high protein food. We gave them a lot of chicken scraps, um, eggs, and cracked corn. We just made sure that they were well fed so they could stay warmer during the freeze. I don't know if it's scientifically true, but apparently giving them cracked corn helps them increase their body temperature. But we just made sure they got in a lot of protein. We saved up meat scraps, and which we should be doing regardless, but from our kitchen to give them extra protein and food. Sweet pea. So yeah, that's what we did to keep them nice and warm during the freeze. Uh, we did not use a heat lamp um, or any type of heating pads. We didn't bring them in our house or anything crazy. All we did was prevent that draft, gave them extra bedding, extra food, and made sure they always had stock of water that wasn't frozen. Um, 
I just personally like to refrain from using heat lamps because I want to prevent fires and I know most chickens can withstand very cold temperatures. So that's what we did. Again, do your own research. If it's way colder than 15 degrees Fahrenheit and y'all need a heat lamp, do your own research. Um, just make sure that when you do use heat, you don't let any condensation build in your coop because if they get wet and freezing, they can get frostbite. You do not want them to get frostbite. That's terrible. So just another tip right there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to make a quick video to tell y'all what we did and what worked for our ladies. We didn't use any heated water or anything because it just never gets that cold where we live. But maybe someone y'all could look into that. Um, we just went with re refreshing the water route. Anyway, I hope y'all have a great day. Please like and subscribe. Keep an eye out for more videos for some tips for first time backyard chicken tenders. Have a good day. <laughs>